And to start off, I'm going to give a very brief explanation of the problem I'm trying to solve. So usually when you create JavaScript, there's a JavaScript developer. And then that developer's JavaScript ends up on a website somewhere. And then a user visits the website. Then the user's browser will download the HTML and the JavaScript. And then the script engine component of the browser will execute it. And if anything work, everything works correctly, rainbows will appear, and unicorns will sing, and you will be executing JavaScript. But what happens instead sometimes is there's a malicious JavaScript developer. And this malicious developer writes JavaScript code that hits a bug in the script engine on purpose and executes native code that violates the security properties of the browser. So this malicious developer writes their code, and then it ends up on a website. It could be a malicious website, or it could be a website that this malicious person has compromised somehow. And then the user visits the website. The website downloads the JavaScript, and then the script engine executes it. But this causes a memory corruption bug to be hit. And then this memory corruption can be exploited in a number of ways to execute native code and access data that the JavaScript otherwise shouldn't be able to access. And then, unfortunately, the user gets compromised. And there's a lot of different layers of security in the browser to prevent this type of attack. But the first way to prevent this sort of thing is to reduce the number of memory corruption bugs in a script engine, which is what I'm trying to do. So I looked at all four major browsers at their JavaScript engines and looked for this type of bug. And I found more than 20 security bugs in various browsers. And I also spent a lot of time looking at JavaScript vulnerabilities, ones that were found by other researchers or ones that turned up being used maliciously in the wild, and tried to figure out what features they were in. And I was surprised to discover that a lot of these vulnerabilities were in just two features of the script engine. 